Hi, this is Neera Mehta from Red Crackle, the Drupal experts. In this video, I'll show you how to use Commerce Kickstart to create your first online store. So let's start. Here I have the first screen to install Commerce Kickstart and I'll go through the process. I'll click on let's get started. I already have a database set up. I'll give it the name. I don't care about the advanced options right now. Save and continue. At this point of time, the commerce kickstart distribution or the installation profile is setting up the Drupal site <coughs> so that uh, we can have a small store on it and you should be able to start with very little configuration. On this page, I will route down, write down the basic information about the store. Store name, I will stay my store. Store email address, I will write it as admin at redcrackle.com site maintenance account mm, I don't like the password admin I'll change it to what I want United States time zone is correct save and continue default store country United States do you want to install the demo store? Since I am uh, going to show you how to create your own thing without a lot of configuration, for now, yes. Do you want to be able to translate the interface of your store? Not as of now. Default currency is dollars. And uh, do we need a tax right now? Mm, let's keep it simple, no. Create and finish. Awesome. So we have this commerce store now with a lot of configuration already done and a few products which we can start selling. Now I'll tell you how to add more products, how to manage them and uh, how the user can go through the complete checkout process. I'm not going to do a lot of configuration in this video. Uh, I'll save those for the next ones. So this is the getting started part and uh, here it is the user guide which gives you some help on creating a product, choosing between variation of page, coupons, payment methods and so on. Similarly, there are quick links on add a product, manage products, manage orders, settings and help. And if I close this, I have a basic store already with a slideshow and three products, actually two products and a blog. Uh, the base configuration for the store, you can access them through here, products, orders, store settings, and so on. So let's click on products. Here, you will see a list of products, Commerce Guys Women's Tea, Commerce Guys Women's Tea, Google hoodie, Google Drupal commerce hoodie, and so on. You can filter them by product type or status or category. You can even edit them here. If you want to change the price, whether it's active or disabled and save. If you don't want a quick edit, you can go to this edit page and change the title, the body. If there are product variations, we can add new product variations. And the more information about the product, for example, collections to carry, category, tote bags, and so on. 
in this case here orders we will be able to see and manage the orders so as of now we have three sample orders from one customer one is in shopping cart and the two are pending which means the customer did complete the checkout but we haven't uh, shipped the product so it's not complete yet and um, from to make it complete we will have to actually edit it and here we can change it from pending to either processing or completed depending on how we define our states you can also see the billing information the shipping information and so on you will also be able to add an order if you want to add an order you need to add a line item which is in this case we want to add a product first so for a product line item the what the sku is yes so these are the sku's and i can add a product here this is a product it already fills in the unit price for you and the quantity you can put in the shipping information billing information if you have a discount and discount status and then save order we don't do it right now because we won't want to create it in store settings we will be able to manage the store so for example in advanced store settings you can view the customer profile the shipping taxes payment methods we will go through each one of them in different videos similarly if you go back you have the commerce search api as well as the product settings and promotions now let's see how a normal checkout process will happen on the site so if i like this okay you are getting thirsty and i see the product multiple images i have the sku the price is 16 dollars i want to read more and the enter quantity okay i want to buy two of them i have all already have the facebook shares add to cart item successful added to your cart okay go to checkout hmm and checkout so this is the checkout page where i can add my name shipping information is the same as the billing information continue to next step what type of shipping do i want express shipping standard shipping let's take standard shipping okay i have i'm buying two water bottles 16 dollars each that comes out to 32 dollars and 8 dollars is the shipping the order total is 40 dollars ah that one worked so four and a lot of ones is the right voided credit card number so yeah my order number is four and i can view my order it says unable to send email that's because i haven't really set up the mail server on this server yet um, if i look at my order here you go i have bought two bottles and with shipping of eight dollars total comes out to be forty dollars in the next video i'll show you more on how to customize the store to your needs thank you have a nice day